Ranger standing in forest. Hi! Welcome to Catoctin Mountain Park. I'm Ranger Carrie, and I'm out here in the woods exploring and looking for clues, or I should say signs of fall. I'd like your help today and I thought maybe we could go on a scavenger hunt to go exploring for again all the signs of fall. Now fall and autumn are really the same thing. They're one of the four seasons we have here at Catoctin Mountain Park. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall. So when I think about fall, I think about the leaves falling off the trees and wind coming up. I also really think about crunching leaves on the trail and in my neighborhood. I love the sound of crunching leaves. So today I'd like your help. Could we find the signs of fall here at Catoctin Mountain Park? I'm thinking we should look for colorful leaves like yellow leaves, red leaves. Maybe we could find some nuts like acorns or beech nuts. I'm thinking, oh gosh, maybe we could find some critter homes, like homes of animals, nests in the trees, or little cavities or holes in the trees where they like to snuggle up on a windy day like this. Are you ready? All right, friends, let's head into the woods together. Walk down trail. Have you noticed all the light coming through the forest right now? I can see up to the sky and see the clouds. I couldn't see that this summer with all the leaves on the trees. But now, because the leaves have fallen, I can see right up through the forest. I can see up and through so much further. And you know what we were looking for in the scavenger hunt? Leaves, bright colored leaves, like yellow leaves and red leaves. And you know what I just found right here? I found some yellow and red leaves. Look at this. I found a red leaf. I found some yellow leaves. Wow, they're beautiful. And brown leaves, green leaves, and some leaves that have multiple colors. Close up of colorful leaf. I love, again, to crunch leaves, to look at leaves, and it's just wonderful to feel all this sunlight. Wow, I bet the animals are getting pretty excited with all these changes as well, because not only has the light changed and is it coming through the forest, but we're getting less and less daylight throughout the day. Have you noticed yourself sleeping in lately or maybe going to bed earlier? I have. Well, the animals notice that change in light too and you know what they're doing? They're looking for food because pretty soon it's gonna get so cold we might have snow in the woods and they're gonna need food nearby like us. When we go to the store and we buy food and we put it in the cupboard, they need acorns and they need berries and they need other things. So. They're getting busy in the forest right now, looking for nuts. So remember how I said that was one of the items on our scavenger hunt. Let's try to see if we can find any nuts here in the woods. And you know what? I haven't noticed any on the trail this morning, but maybe if we get off trail a little bit over here and we look around, we might just find some nuts here on the ground. Well, look at that. I'm finding some nuts here and it looks like they've been cracked open. I bet those chipmunks and squirrels have been busy either eating them or burying them for later. And they'll bury them all over in the forest. They bite into them and make a little hole and then bury them for later. You know who else is looking for nuts right now? Bears. Bears are trying to fatten up for winter because they hibernate. That's a long winter's nap that they take. So they have to eat as much as they can so that they can rest throughout the winter. Again, Animals are busy this time of year because they're looking for food, but you know what else they're looking for? They're looking for shelter. On a day like today, Ranger Carrie has a couple extra jackets on because it's cold and it's gonna get colder. That's another sign of fall and the oncoming next season, winter. So what kind of shelter would they be looking for? Let's look about the forest here. Let's explore around and look. Would they be building more uh, bigger nests or would they be oh my gosh I bet they bury themselves below these leaves what kind of animals do you think would bury themselves under the leaves oh I saw an earthworm there's a millipede even mice like to hide under there too in the winter to stay warm but other critters like to go quiet in the winter too or kind of take a long nap like snails salamanders, box turtles, frogs, 
all sorts of animals really quiet down in the winter. But there are some critters that stay very active, like the squirrels, a lot of the birds. Ranger standing by fallen tree in forest. Well, look at what I found here. Here's a snug little hole inside this dead tree limb. There's a little hole in there and it actually looks like someone's been busy in there. That might be a great spot for a squirrel or chipmunk to hide out. And you know what? Under this log, we found a number of acorns too. Some that were eaten, but it looked like they were trying to bury some for winter. This would be a great spot. Now, if you were a little animal, would you burrow below a log? Would you climb inside a log for warmth? Would you climb into the cavity of a tree? Or would you find a cave or den? You know, sometimes it matters what kind of animal you are and how big you are. This is a hole that I wouldn't fit in. But again, some of the animals we've talked about could. Some animals need a quick spot to get in and out, maybe a little bit off the ground, but again, some go below the ground. Let's keep looking around because again, some animals are really busy migrating through. Animals that move to warmer places. We might have geese flying over today heading south. We might also have just turkeys walking through the forest looking for food and kind of moving through. So again, different animals do different things this time of year. Again, some are looking for homes, some are looking for food, and some are just going about their regular day. Ranger standing in forest. I have had so much fun with you today, looking around in the forest here at Catoctin Mountain Park. It is so neat to explore the outdoors together and look for the signs of fall. In some areas, it might be the pine cones falling from the trees or the helicopters falling off others. But here on this trail, today we found nuts. We found little cavities where maybe an animal would scurry into. We found a forest that had lost most of its leaves because they're deciduous trees or trees that change color in the fall because they're not making food anymore and then they're falling to the ground. And then we found out that those leaves actually act maybe as a blanket for animals that are taking a long winter nap or just for cover, like us putting a coat on when we go outside. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed today is my nose and my ears are a little cooler during this season. I hope that you've had fun today as we looked for the different signs of fall and I hope you're encouraged to come out here and hike sometime or even explore your neighborhood to see what signs of fall you can find. See you next time.